Let's continue reviewing our network concepts uh, with the PSM's lab. Now we're going to do with the gateway and, and DNS together. So instead of using the ACP, we're going to use a static address. This is the address, that's the net mask. The default gateway is the LAN port, precisely, and as it is a DNS server. Basically, we are telling PFSense, you use your standard gateway and use your own bound process uh, to get me wherever I want to go. So, if we do IP config slash renew and we do IP config we see that that is being resolved and if we do ping uh, yahoo yahoo.com we not only get the resolution of the address you see the, the DNS resolution working there but we can also ping and if we do NS lookup for yahoo.com we see that the resolver is the internal unbound, the PFSense process. So what happens if we do not specify a gateway? So let's go back here and remove the gateway. Click OK. OK. Let's do IP config renew. And we see that we don't have a gateway. If we do NS lookup to yahoo.com we get a resolution. We can get there. But if we try to go to yahoo.com, let's say that's 72 out 72 or actually put it on name, yahoo.com we cannot reach it. Even if we try to do ping 72.30.35.10 we cannot get out because we don't have a gateway. So this is not a land traffic the gate, we don't have a gateway, so we don't know where to send this to find to find the what we are actually trying to communicate with. If we go further here and we remove the definition for the DNS resolver, the DNS server, then we are not gonna be able to do the NSS NS uh, lookup. So let's do IP config. Let's renew. Need to spell that right. And if we do NS lookup yahoo.com is not going to be able to do that. Let's actually go back here and add this gateway, right? So we put a gateway. We don't have any DNS resolver, any DNS server, right? I already did the IP config, but let's do it. IP config slash renew. Now, we have a gateway because if we do ping, for example, if we go to Google's DNS resolver. We, we can get out, right? But if we do NS lookup for google.com or any other, notice that we said we, you don't have a default DNS server. You, you, we cannot figure out what's the DNS address for it. However, there is an option. In Windows is uh, Internet options. If you go to Internet options, this is it's called a, an explicit proxy. Remember that we have a squid. Uh, let's actually go back to the our drawing. 
Oops. Remember that we had a squid here as a proxy, right? Well, we're going to take advantage of that. If we go here to land settings and specify here a proxy server, that's actually the address of my squid. We notice that we don't have any DNS resolution. However, if we go to a browser and we go to IBM.com or any other address, notice that it, it really works uh, without a problem. So it is the explicit pro proxy, the one that is actually providing the, the, the DNS uh, resolution. And here are the definitions for the squid proxy. Once you install the package, because it is optional, uh, you enable it. You specify in which segment do you want the proxy to the, the squid proxy to work. The standard port for squid is 3128. Uh, we enable transparent mode. And this is also in combination to what we did before in previous videos over the DNS over TLS. And notice that in here you have this option to bypass some either source IP or destination IP from going through the actual proxy. Here's the option for uh, enabling SSL filtering, which we uh, showed in another video. So I hope that this uh, two short uh, videos on Back to Basics will solidify your knowledge and it allows you to test your knowledge of uh, the, how the TCP IP stack works in relationship with DHCP gateway and, and DNS proxy.